What's up gamers? Welcome back to today's video and um, today we're comparing two players, uh, two of the better running backs in the game. We're comparing LaShawn McCoy and Adrian Peterson. But before we do that, I want to quickly remind everybody that if you head over to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash madtips365 and like that page, you will be entered into a giveaway that I'm going to be doing as soon as I get to 100 uh, Facebook likes and we into a giveaway that I'm going to be doing for my 99 overall Barry Sanders Thanksgiving Day edition card uh, for Madden Ultimate Team and then also um, real quick I'll be releasing a Nickel 335 ebook by the end of July here I'm targeting uh, July 30 or July 28th uh, to release this ebook and if you go over to that Facebook page and like it, you'll receive a free copy of that when it comes out. So um, just something else that you can do, you guys, to get ready for Madden 20 or Madden 15. And uh, I think I think you guys would get a lot out of that Facebook page. So, but with that in mind, guys, I really wanted to compare these uh, running backs. So we're just gonna go up here to all NFL players, go over to running backs, and you'll see LeSean McCoy is actually a step down. Uh, Jamal Charles is actually a step up. So. Uh, we may be comparing Jamal Charles, Adrian Peterson later uh, on in the year. But uh, LaShawn McCoy versus Adrian Peterson, so let's go over. Uh, you see here Adrian Peterson has Shady beat by, uh, you know, four points in speed. I hope these are updated rosters. I don't know if they are. Let me make sure these are updated because I felt like LaShawn had a lot better stats. Let me load the roster here. Hold on, guys. Okay. So... But we saw there, uh, Shady had like four points lower in speed, which I feel like that's wrong, but I don't know if it is or not. It says Madden, so I mean it's it's Madden stats. All right, let's see here. Halfbacks. Okay, so I guess they were. No, they weren't right. We had to load them. As you see, Shady now has a little bit higher acceleration. Okay. So, Shady's got 94 speed, AP's got 98 speed, AP's got him beat by 4 points in speed, Shady's got 99 agility, AP's got 97, Shady's got him beat 2 points higher in agility, uh, AP's got, AP kills him in strength, um, acceleration, AP's got 97, Shady's got 98, uh, so Shady's just a little bit faster in, uh, in acceleration wise, but AP's got the breakaway, 98 speed. Awareness, uh, Shady has him, has him down by three points there. Trucking, uh, AP kills him in trucking. Uh, elusiveness, you see that Shady has 99 elusiveness, and AP's got him only 94. Uh, both have 99 ball carrier vision. Shady has uh, it got killed again in stiff arm. Uh, spin move, Shady's got him beat by two. Juke move's got him beat by uh, four. Carry rating, Shady's got him beat by almost 10 points. Catching, Shady kills LaShawn McCoy at. Uh, route running, all that, Shady kills him. So those are kind of the stat breakdown. And uh, the key stats I want to note is the catch rating. You see LaShawn McCoy has him beat by uh, almost 20 points. But if you look over here in the trucking rating, AP's got Shady beat by 30 points. And in this, you know, in the strength rating, AP's got Shady beat by about 23 points. So, with that in mind, um, you have to ask yourself the question, what are you doing on offense? Because if you are like me, and you are passing the ball, you know, maybe 60% 60, 60 of the time, maybe even 70% of the time, then you don't want to use AP. You want to go Shady. You know, because you get this, you get these catching ratings, and he's not going to have to truck or stiff arm those guys in the open field. He can use his 99 elusiveness and get around them like that. Now, the cool, the, the cool thing to note is that AP doesn't have a whole lot of rich man stats. What I mean by that is, there's you see how Shady has 99 agility, how he has 99 elusiveness, how he, he AP is like 98, 96, all across the board. You know, I mean, literally, really just, it's not like he's 99 in trucking, you know. I mean, you know, Marshall Lynch has better trucking than AP does. Elusiveness, he's not 99 elusiveness. 
So he doesn't have that one standout stat. He's really good across the board. So, but he doesn't have the catch rating that Shady does. So if you're if you're in a passing offense, I go Shady. Um, it, obviously, though, if you're in that ground and pound kind of like I form tight, you know, running the ball inside and outside and milking the clock, AP is is the best runner still in the game. And what I mean by the best runner is he's the best back to give the ball in a handoff situation because he's got, I mean, he can do everything. He can run inside and outside. He's got the breakaway speed. He's got just enough trucking to get by inside. He's got just enough, just enough elusiveness to make it feel like he's running like a Shady or a Jamal Charles. Um, you know, just enough. He's got just enough, stiff, you know, stiff arm, spin move, juke move, just enough of all of those to do a really good job of, you know, making his runs beneficial to you inside. So he's the best runner. Shady's the best overall. IMO. Uh, because Shady can hurt you where AP can't in the passing game. And Shady's got rich man stats. He's got the 99 juke move, 99 elusiveness, and 99 agility, and 98 acceleration. I mean, those are really good stats, especially for a back where you're going to be getting him in the open field. So, like when we're throwing the ball, a lot of times he's going to be matched up on one guy, not multiple guys. Whereas AP, if you're just handing the ball off, especially in an I formation type of setting, he's going to have multiple guys that are going to be attacking him. So, if you're running the ball more, you go AP. If you're passing the ball more, you go Shady McCoy. That's what I would do. Let me know what you guys would do, and let me know who you would like to see me compare next uh, to the top guys. I might be comparing Marshawn Lynch and... Um, Adrian Peterson soon. I don't know yet, but uh, we'll see, guys. This is a series that we're going to be uh, getting going here, embracing debate over two players, find out who is actually better statistically and who I would pick, uh, you know, in, in a pinch. Guys, if I if it was me and I had one spot left on my depth chart, I would take Shady McCoy simply because I pass the ball more than I run the ball. But, you know, it, I, I do know this. You know, if I'm if I'm using the Vikings, I'm not going to be passing the ball as much. So I would definitely, you know, maybe use a more I-formation style attack to take advantage of my running back. So, uh, but that's what I would do, guys. And remember about the Facebook page, uh, what I talked about earlier in the video. If you like it, you will be giving away a free Nickel 335 e-guide as soon as it's released to kind of finish you off in Madden uh, 25 and actually prepare you a little bit for Madden 15 uh, because I think that the Nickel 335 will work if not as good, maybe even better than it works in Madden 25. So be sure to be on the lookout for that, and we'll talk to you guys uh, next week when we do another uh, Embrace Debate series.